Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Sagittarius friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family. Wow, I can't shuffle worth a damn this morning, can I? Whew. Let's see if I can't. Here we go. A bit. Maybe it's just the cloth. Okay, so I didn't pre have everything out. Okay. Just too tired. I wanted to do this all together. Plus, I, I think you guys never get to see me shuffle anyway. I have a weird method of mad madness to it. Let me put you on pause. Sorry about that. My coworker called me to tell me that he can't sit in his chair no more because um, at the main office, see, in in my job um, at the building I'm working at, I can't tell you which building, but. We have one officer that sits in the main office and watches all the cameras and that building. And then I sit out in the SOC Center all by myself. They have a camera in the area he's at, but they don't have a camera where I'm at. I am the camera. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so he just called on me to let me know that he was going to go sit in a conference room because... Um, he had an accident in Iraq and he can't sit in the stupid chair anymore. So that's kind of what that was about. I don't think you'll ever see the video of this. So they get paid more, the um, armed officers, just to sit in there and watch cameras and do nothing. I get paid way less just for running around in the car and scanning stuff and making sure nobody's on property. That's why I'm able to do these tarot readings because I do an hour of vehicle patrol and an hour of watching cameras and doing this to keep myself awake. It's a lot of concentration. Okay. Enough about me. Let's figure out what the hell's going on with you. Okay. Okay, let's figure out what's going on with you. Sorry, it's taking me a minute to read these. Okay, so before you, you see four piles, well, and a half, right, that's this one right there. It's a weird angle, huh? 
past, present, future. Remember when we get to the future that is not set in stone, it can change your time. You so think it should change, okay? Now, um, and this fourth pile is all the energy between past, present, and future. This is a general reading, not a personal reading. There's a huge difference. Okay, if you want a personal reading, um, you can ask me or your nearest favorite tarot reader that you absolutely love and adore. That's um, decent in price and in character. Okay. Let's get started. All right. Your past energy was poverty, financial loss, and a lot of anxiety. You didn't know what to do. You're dealing with a three of swords, a lot of deception there. But that didn't stop you from empressing up. Okay. So regardless of what's between your legs, whether you're male or female, you have two energies, male and female energy. Okay, if that makes sense. We each try to level each of those up. Male energy, the top energy for that would be Aries, and for female, it'd be Empress. That or you have a Libra in your midst, all right? Sagittarius, who is your Empress? But you decided in the past to take the will of fortune by the by the horns and tell it where the bear shits, basically. Luck, fate, and destiny. You claimed it. You said, that's mine. And in it, you acquired a queen of swords, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is an intelligent, sharp-tongued, and unscrupulous woman. Or male. Okay. It's just an energy that's labeled queen. Okay. I've got not enough time left before I leave for home. So here, here's the deal. This woman, this queen, was not, she was not born into royalty. She didn't marry into royalty. Her and the king of swords built their empire from the ground up. Okay. You want to give your cup of love to someone, but you're feeling a heavy loss, sadness, grief. It has a lot to do with that Three of Swords, huh? You're still feeling it. Or someone passed away. Which led you to rest, retreat, and recover. Mini Hermit mode. But little did you know in the future, you are with a Leo. And you were able to um, have strength to carry on. Even though you're juggling and struggling a lot of birds and responsibilities, you're very possessive and hoarding. And you're dealing with a Libra, so, or the justice system, you're. Maybe you're getting a divorce. You're working towards a divorce or something. Okay, let's talk about all the energy cards between past, present, and future. So you're dealing with an Aquarius, wish fulfillment. You're self-sacrificing, you're dealing with Scorpio. You're trying to progress and get to that thought bubble where your partner is. But you're feeling like you did dealt were dealt a lot of deception. And you were bickering and severing ties. The quarrels and competition never ended because I think you were fighting over someone with someone else, right? And your relationship over the stupid shit crawled away. You're bored and satisfied. But you're very inquisitive, headstrong, and observant, okay? You're, you're dealing with someone who is also that. Someone who knows where to go when the shit hits the fan. But you're, you're having a difficult decision. You're seeing different views, and you're very indecisive. But you've got new tasks, motivation, and energy, not to mention the male human phallic, where you're pointing it towards somebody that you fancy. Or they, they fancy you. Male phallic is penis. Your ultimate goal is ten of cups. Peace, contentment, and family. But in order to get there, there's a lot of mystery and secrets. So you got to look within to your intuition. Pay attention because no one's speaking for you. 
There's a the death of a situation in the beginning of something new. You're working your ass off and you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, right? So you're getting paid really good and getting everything you want out of a situation, but you're not getting what you need out of a situation. But you're going to eventually be able to sit down with someone that you disagree with and talk it out. I think you miss them. You've got a lot of options and you need to decide which one best suits you. Otherwise, a choice will be made for you and if a choice is made for you, you might not like that outcome, okay? Then you're done with the Queen of Hazards, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone who's materialistic, confident, and practical. This is a boss lady. She hired you for a purpose. She saw something in you that no one else saw. It's especially you, okay? She's riding your ass and not in a sexual way, okay? In a do this, do that, do this, and it's driving you fucking nuts. I know it is. It drives me nuts, too. It seems like every sign has a boss lady like this. Or boss mad. What she is is testing you. Her methods of madness aren't really practical, but she's doing the best she can with what she has. And you know, we're each so different and yet so unique. So she wants you to grow within the company and be, stay. She likes you. And you're done with a lover in the form of Gemini. Romance, sex, and blinded by passion. Okay. Now, the bottom of the deck is Nine of Hazards. So, during all this bullshit, you were gaining prosperity, independence. You got it. You were growing confidence, too. Building something from the ground up, which is awesome. We also. Let's do the eight card broken heart spread. What's going on with my beautiful sages? Now, this is going to be a little confusing, but bear with me. This card represents the central issue of your relationship. So, the fact that there were lessons learned and that it's the end of a journey. Completion. Okay? Maybe you don't want that journey to end. At least not yet, right? This card represents how you see the other person. You see the, you see the other person as moving on from a troubled relationship and making a change. Maybe you're changing. Are they leaving you? This card represents how they see you. They see you as very inventive and genius and come, you come at things with a new approach. This card represents unknown influences on your relationship full of fucking anxiety and paranoia and hopelessness. This card represents where you want the relationship to go. You want to travel, move somewhere better. It's good, you need some fresh air. Go to Brighton. You're like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, oh, I watch too much Pride and Prejudice, I don't know. Too much Jane Austen shit. Okay, we are number six. This card represents who can help your relationship. You're going to have to transform. It's going to be the end of something old and the beginning of something new. So maybe the relationship isn't is ending as much as it seems like it is, but it's actually trans um, transforming into something better, evolving. Okay. This card represents the challenges in your relationship. The challenges are this. You or them or both of you are getting paid really good and getting everything you want, but you're not really getting anything that you need out of the situation, okay? That's what's going on. 
And this card represents the outcome of your relationship. So you're able to finally balance out and harmonize, right? Sit down with a friend of me and compromise. That's pretty good, actually. It seems like a roller coaster, but ultimately it's not that bad of a reading. Just communicate more. You know, if they love you, they'll they'll love hearing from you and listening to you and being patient with you. That's just how nice everything. You know, that's how nice um, significant others can be. All right, I love you. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot, okay? <coughs> Sorry, my throat went dry. Love you. Bye, my beautiful Sages.